start towards the left of the hand yeah. with um, just a little straight line like so. This is going to be the bottom of his mouth and then you do the exact same thing that way. Oh, can you stay nice and still for me? Okay, so that is actually the dragon's mouth. Next we're going to need a small circle at the back of the head, like so. For the eye. For, yeah, for the eye. And then you can just fill in that little, this little gap here, like so. Okay. Now, this next part is quite easy because it's one long spirally line. Um, now you're going to get my shadow for a little bit. You come to watch Sammy? One long spirally line like so. Okay, that now if you want, tail. that is going to be the tail, that's right. And then you just thicken that out on the top half, like so. Okay, so we're actually, that's the body and the head of your dragon very easy. So we're going to do two little small arms at the front, like so. Yeah, can you see the T-Rex? Let's let Sammy have a little look. Can you see it? Okay, try and try not to get your shadow in the shot please Sammy. Thank you buddy. Then we're going to have a triangle, pointing down, or pointing up I suppose from this point of view, and one pointing slightly back. And from the first triangle, off to the right, we do one little line. And the second triangle is the same, another little line. Oh my gosh, his feet is back to front. Uh, those aren't his feet, those are his legs. Here come the feet now, Joey. But that was quite observant, well done. So here comes his feet, moving forward. One foot there and one foot there. So again, just two little lines. Not very complicated to do. Okay, we're about to do the wings right now, so we're going to go for about a third in from the back of the head. We're going to do a line that curves out to the left and try and let it taper to a point, like so. Okay? And we are going to do just getting a little bit more paint here because I'm running out of paint on my brush. A line about a couple of millimeters to the right of that that comes in and goes like so. Okay? Well, actually, do you know what? I'm going to change that and I'm going to bring it all the way around to here. Okay? So between this line and this line and this line you now have a point to make your curves for the wing so from the first point tip try and do a curve that bends up and then back round again like so the exact same thing for the remaining two locations or points like so 
and the last one like so this one needs a bit more of a point so I'm just gonna make it a little bit more you can make all these little just adjustments as you go and then we fill it in so that is really the basis of our dragon as you can see but now we need to start to add some black we do add for the detail we need black so with the black I'm going to try and make a flat edge to my brush like uh, so can you see it's kind of like flattened out because with a flattened edge like that I can actually do some finer lines okay so Julie is there any chance you can sit back up again thank you and then I have a better angle okay so we're going to do just some of the details like so now I'm just going to follow the same line and just to say that you don't actually need to do a lot of these details that you've pretty much got a dragon there which they would be satisfied with but like I said earlier we're going to do a slightly more complicated one today so it looks just like a dragon so it looks just like a dragon so basically we're just adding details lines that follow to where the points are and the curvature of the original locations. Now those aren't perfect but you can kind of see it coming together. Very good. Holding still Joel. Well done. There you go. So that's one wing done with detail. Two colors now. We're going to do those two colors right in a second, but I we're think we're just going to follow follow the outline of the dragon in a few places just to make it pop out a little bit. Okay. Now, so I'm just literally highlighting a couple of the edges. You don't have to do all of the edges, but just even one or two of the edges like this. We'll just. I don't know, make, make the, the definition of the hand painting a little more, I don't know, impressive I suppose. But I'm kind of doing this for fun really. Um, you don't actually have to do this. Fun. Okay, so I think we're going to leave it at that. Well, let's do one more little bit along the bottom here. Okay, so next we are going to need white. The reason why we need white is for the... For the teeth and for the, the claws. The claws and for the eyes. And for the eyes, that's right. So you're going to lather up some white. We're gonna have teeth, claws, and eyes. And these are really, really simple. Now maybe you can see here, Lucy. It's easier with um, getting a point. You put your brush in the paint and twist like so and you can get a nice point like where's the camera there it is there nice point like so so with that point we're going to do lots of teeth the cat is at Uncle Dee Dee's house look Uncle Dee Dee's famous the cat has gone to Uncle Dee Dee's house he ran away from you. We're having an emergency here. The cat has run away up the stairs. Okay, well in five minutes when I'm finished this hand painting, we'll go and find the cat, okay? Nearly finished. Now, we were having a drama there, so I wasn't able to talk you through that, but you can see that the white dots are really simple to do. You're gonna knock over my water sign. You know that old saying they say, never work with children? I totally disagree. It's really fun to work with children. You just gotta keep working. <laughs> it never goes quite according to plan, but it's more fun than any other job ever. Okay, you ready? I'm gonna put a dot in for his eye. There we go. So, the last thing that we have to do is, what do fire breathing dragons breathe, by the way? Fire. Oh, what a surprise. Because <laughs> you just said fire breathing dragon. 
I know. That's, I know, like that was me just basically being a little bit silly. Are you ready for some fire with your fire breathing dragon? Hey, putting some yellow in the black. Yeah, it doesn't matter. Really. Okay, here comes the fire. This is just basically a couple of wiggly lines that come out the front of the dragon. Now, you could just leave it like that again, it's up to you, but we're going to add just a little bit of red in there as well to highlight the dragon. And then it's finished, to be honest. And Julie no, has his we haven't got the tongue yet. Do you want to put a tongue in? Yeah. We can put a little tongue in, why not? Okay, there's his tongue there. Okay? Yeah. You happy? Yeah. Right. Can we show the camera your dragon? Can we just do something that is firing on? How about we do that after the video, okay? Because yeah. this is just to show everybody how to do your dragon. Can you hold it up like so? And show everybody your lovely dragon. Can you see it? Well done. Thank you, Joel, for sitting so still for me. And that's how you do a dragon. It is more complicated, but if you're a bit patient and you have someone who's going to sit really still, like Joel, give me five, then it's going to be a great